Right now I'm walking down Fifth Avenue for the Columbus Day Parade, and right behind me is Mayor Bill de Blasio. Now the big question on everybody's mind is, we've got the mayor behind us, he's waving his Italian flag, but where is one of the top aides? Rachel Nordlinger. Recently she's been involved in a scandal about not disclosing information and her longtime boyfriend, an ex-convict with all sorts of charges against him, including murder when he was 15, but a recent arrest involving marijuana. She was also given a notice because she knew that he was driving without a license. Tamara, what kind of role does she play in the administration that she is so important that they would be defending her despite the fact that there was a child in the car? She plays a critical role in the administration. She's chief of staff to the first lady. She was also a critical aide to Reverend Al Sharpton. We've been hearing reports that every everywhere the mayor goes, people are pelting him with questions about this top aide and whether or not she should resign. Do you see the media presence here? I'm bumping into people. Everyone's asking these questions. Wait, they want please, to please, please, please. He seems to be pretty happy walking in the Columbus Day Parade. I'm sure it's a nice distraction from this developing scandal. Can you just kind of fade back there? He's standing right there. Can you ask him? There's a lot of uh, very big bodyguards around him who have kept me away thus far, but I will. Tomorrow's chase is going to be we bailed Tamara out of jail. <laughs> I mean, if you look at the situation with him in 2011, a minor in the car, allegedly with marijuana in the car, a lot of the things that she's either witnessed or been involved in kind of speaks to her ability to make quality decisions. And that's why I'm concerned about this is a veteran. She knows very well how to work the media. She's the best asset Bill de Blasio can have because he's new at this. She's not. <laughs> I think at the very least, this is now a complete distraction. I wonder if Al Sharpton's energy could be directed in a more positive way, maybe thinking about cleaning up City Hall and cleaning up New York instead of just defending bad behavior.